So this is uh, maybe this is like just my personal internal struggle, but like I always struggled to get started. This idea that like, oh the grades got started this way, they did it this way first, and then once they like once they did it this way, that's why it worked. And so if you do it exactly this way, then it'll work. And then. There's kind of this competing idea of like accessibility, like like there's a r enough resources for for everyone to have exactly the same thing, which kind of isn't true. And I guess like as I'm getting older, I'm starting to understand uh, the value of a dollar. And and what I mean by that is like. Um, with my dollar, like I can use my dollar to do what I want, right? Like I could pay for food, I could pay for transportation, I could pay for housing, I could pay for education, I could pay for clothes, I could pay for technology. Like with my money, I can do whatever I want with it. With your money, like you can do whatever you want with it. And, um,. I really appreciate this idea of like leaving a digital footprint that is more like individual, right? Like I'm not a big sharer. I don't like doing things that other people do like, whoo, sorry, at the time that they do it. And the reason is because like there's just never enough for everyone to like have how can I say it? Like, if there's one donut, if I have a donut, one donut, and I have one donut for me, that donut is not for us. That donut is for me. You can buy a donut for you, and then you can eat your donut. But, like, you can't have my donut, because that donut is for me. I feel like that's the big idea around, like, having an economy and money in the first place. But then also, like, there's this idea of, like, capitalism where like if you actually have a resource that is actually good and uh worth something um you should be able to earn money off of it so i feel like we've already seen this in terms of like having actual people be brands right and other people kind of getting, how do you say it? Standing for, your, like, the person is the brand, right? And so it's, it's sometimes some people can be inspired by that, especially younger people, because they're looking for someone to believe in, someone to follow, um, especially like they're doing a thing where they're like, okay, there's this versus that. Um, for me, I've always tried to define myself as like an individual. Like I just make choices based on what I want, not based on what's good for the group, good for a community, good for like any of that. But then I do think there are some things about like, uh, community s group statistics, right, and kind of like looking at outcomes, things like that. I think that it's like useful to look at that just to like kind of give a how do you say like a synopsis of like what worked and what didn't work, what you might want to change or not or not. Um, I feel like we don't do that enough, right? We just think that like shit is just happening, and it's not. Because there's a lot of, like, patterns that I feel like we don't take into account, which I think is a missed opportunity in a lot of ways. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't... I don't know how to explain it better. I don't... Yeah, I don't know how to explain it better. That's that. That's kind of the best way... It's kind of the best way right now for me to explain it. And I think w one thing that I am personally learning right now 
Um, one thing that I am personally learning right now is that like every person is on their own path. Like every person is on their own journey. I don't know, we're, we're all going to different places. Like we all don't want the same shit. And there really is like enough for everyone to have whatever it is that they want. Cause we all don't want the same shit. Like your happy probably does not look like my happy. Most of the time my happy is actually being away from other people. <laughs> that makes me happy. It's actually something that my mom always makes fun of me for. And it's very strange to other people because they like to be social. They like to be like the socialite who's being, I guess, like ideal. How do you say idolized by other people? But I don't seek that. Like, I'm not really looking for validation from anyone. I'm not looking for like likes. But I am looking for, uh, how do you say it? Realization in the sense of like, I want credit where credit is due, which is why, like, I fig- I wrote all those articles about publishing, about self-publishing, about how to do it, um, about how to tell your own story, about how to create a point of view, just so that where wherever you are, you feel like your ex- your experience is real because it is real. Like, your feelings are real, even if everyone else around you doesn't give a shit, they don't agree, they down play it they mock you they laugh I don't know why people do that but they do because they're mean and shitty um but that doesn't invalidate whatever the very real experience is that you're going through and that's something that nobody ever told me like no one people just didn't say that and it made me feel like the shit that was really happening to me like it didn't matter (laughs) And it wasn't important and it, it, it honestly got me to a very callous place where I started to feel like if my accomplishments didn't matter, then other people's lives didn't matter. That's how I personally felt. But I think that's because I'm an extremist. <laughs> you don't have to feel that way. Maybe don't feel that way. I wouldn't encourage anybody to feel that way. But that doesn't take away the fact that I for sure felt that way. Like, I felt like if my internship didn't matter then fuck everybody else's degree, fuck their hopes and dreams. I don't I just didn't care at all. Only my accomplishments should matter. And my accomplishments should matter more than other people's. And that's just the way that I felt. And I can't describe to you the amount of people who don't agree. Because they feel like, no, but us, but we, but the community, but the community And I've said it once and I'll say it a million times. Fuck the community. Fuck the community. Fuck the community all the way. (laughs) Okay. The community, this community has been aborted. So, like, I don't even know what the, there ain't no community. I don't. (laughs) I think that people need to be a little bit more self-interested self-motivated okay go get some shit for your fucking self the other thing that's very strange is like i feel like i'm just that person okay i am the person you can feel how you feel about the elitists okay about the black academics about all of those who strive to like excel in all the things I've never strived for excellence, okay? I have striven for mediocrity because I'm lazy. I'm lazy, but I'm smart and talented. So even me being lazy still led to something. I think people always mistake my mediocrity, okay, for talentless. Even being mediocre means you have some talent. There are those with no talent. That's different. (laughs) Having something is not having nothing. This is another reason why we have to be serious about like, obviously all people have value, but also women have value. And there's this weird thing that, especially like black men do. I don't know why they do it. They're like tearing down their own community, their own women. Like so many women, just all, all these, the rap songs are so toxic. Like so, you know, 
they're just so toxic. I don't even know. They just, uh, they have made so many people feel bad about choices that they've made, about things that they've done. Um, and not really to the benefit of themselves. It's really been to the detriment of the entire community. Like, whole people are dead. For real. Like, whole people, whole babies have been aborted. Whole, like, relationships have died. People have lost a lot of money. For what? For what? Who gained something? Who? Is society better? Are you are you seeing the same society that I'm seeing? Are you? It ain't very good over here. Okay? Like, people aren't thriving in the ways that TikTok, okay, is showing you. And as a person, okay, who has, like, ugh, figured it out on her own, I suppose, it's just kind of like... It's a bit exhausting, a bit, because you want to feel like, you want to feel like everyone's growing up and growing out and going on their own together. Like, it's kind of that thing, like when you, you, when everybody graduates from college, you know, and then it's like, we did it we had this shared experience we 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 and you look around and you see your peers doing it and you think like all of us us we community and then i feel like i put my little sneaker on the ground and realized there ain't no we it was just me even though there were like other people to the right and left of me it was just me and I didn't like that feeling. It felt bad. I don't know. It just did. It felt bad. It's weird. It's weird.